It's just pure fun. Oh yeah, can you feel the power of free drawing cards every single turn? When you see this timer, it means that the Boros player was broken. Not only the game was lost, his spirit suffered this game. And this is exactly why we play Control, to break those little Boros spirits after they play the highlighted cards. Hello everyone, it's Love and I'm talking so fast because I want to grab your attention before you click away because I have important things to say about this deck. First of all, the deck is amazing. Second, the games were epic. This was one of the videos that I'm the most proud of. It's everything went right. The fun was off the charts. We even smoked Boros so hard that he actually rage quit the game. Uh, I was never so happy in my life. <laughs> it was perfect. Everything went perfect with this and the deck is absolutely sweet. It's one of my favorite decks after playing today. I honestly didn't have so much fun since a long time. It's comparable to like Dimir Control for me. It's, it's the top sherry on the cake. So definitely give it a try if you have cards before the rotation comes. And with that being said, uh, yeah, this is the important part. If you don't like the intros, you can click away and I thank you for all the attention. And for all the true fans that stay and listen to my rambling, first of all, thank you. You are the boss. And the deck is actually really sweet. Oh, and I forgot, we are having 100% win rate. We won all the games with this deck. And that's something you got because you are a true fan and you watch the intro. So yeah, the others don't know about it. They don't know how good the deck is. So with that being said, uh, funny thing, I actually had the footage after pretty long games that we had like really epic games. And I mean like, epic games and i had footage enough but i felt that you deserve more games so we played a bit more and that's what uh, result was with the boros tears and unhappiness and this is basically our happiness so that was great i'm extremely happy with the experience so if you want to smoke some boros it seems to do it. Oh boy, it seems to smoke Boros so hard that they, they aren't happy. So what this legendary deck is about? First of all, it has Tamiyo. Not only Tamiyo, it has four of the Tamiyos. Oh boy. Oh, and right now, another bonus for you for watching the intro. Uh, you will see Tamiyo Notebook carrying the full game. The all in sight that you will never see probably in most of the videos because it's so rare to ultimate Tamiyo early while the enemy doesn't scoop. We actually did it. This is the showcasing of how insane artifact it can be. This basically carries the whole game. So definitely check it out. And with that being said, we have four Tamios. What more? We have four Emperors, which is basically one of the best cards in standard, hands down. And what is the most fun about this deck? This is still a control deck. We are having Spell Pierce, Syncopate. Okay, th that's all. That's three counter spells in the deck. <laughs> and now we have Endless Detour. This is also a counter spell. It's not the same, but it's close enough. And don't forget, we have ways to get cards from the graveyard sometimes. It's a bit, you know, dicey. We can use Kairi, we can use Sky Tartar, we can use Tamiyo ability, but we have ways to do it. We also have interesting card of Careful Cultivation. I like it. It's one of the few decks when I think this is justified because we, we have in extremely important Planewalkers. If we can get them into the board one turn earlier, it's all worth it. Like imagine if you are on the play and you are casting Tamiyo against, so you have one turn, two turn, enemy has two drop and then you ramp and play Tamiyo. So you are playing Tamiyo against enemy two drop. You tap it, it cannot attack. And it has what? Four loyalty already. So even Cavalier won't kill her. That's so huge. And then you can start tapping Cavalier and get rid of the two drop with Faithful Absence or Portable Hall or Marches or anything else in the deck. Uh, or even the Emperor. Uh, like Emperor with Tamiyo is so frustrating to play against for our opponents. So basically, if they attack you, you play the Emperor. If they don't attack you, you have Tamiyo. They need to, you know, pressure you, but they don't have good ways to do it. What more? Tamiyo doesn't kill a creature, it just taps the creature. But at some point, you Doomscar. 
enemy needs to play another creature and it will get tapped. He is always one creature behind of what he should be. And with the sweeper, stamina is even better because normally Planewalker just removes it and you basically lose this value because at the point of sweeper, you would sweep the creature anyway. So in, in the end, the result is the same. Tamiya works differently. She always gets rid of one creature as long as she's on the board. That's really insane. And the fact that she grows while doing it is just so brutal. This is one of the reasons Ultimate is actually something... I, I think I've been using Tamiya Ultimate the most in all the plane walkers in Standard. And the reason is that her plus one is just so good. You don't need to minus her and she's perfectly fine. She's actually even better most of the time because the tapping ability is what does it for me. And the minus is on this deck, just an icing on the cake because you can get back the Emperor. It also means that you can play very aggressively with the Emperor with going minus two into directly minus one into Tamiyo getting back Emperor and another minus one. So you basically create two creatures and exile one creature, all for four mana. That's insane. You basically get three Emperor triggers for four mana. That's just game winning move right there. And this is very often something that wins you the game. What more? Every single Emperor during your game will be played double thanks to Tamiyo. This is one of the biggest synergies in the deck. Tamiyo for 5 loyalty into minus 4 and getting back the Emperor. If you top deck Tamiyo, you can get 3 cards of this top deck and you will see it in one of the games because at some point I thought that I'm a good top decking player and I finally learned how to play Magic. <sighs> Watch the game. Watch the game and feel the pain. And happiness, it was both. So definitely if you top deck this and you have empty board and empty hand, everything empty, you basically get this into Emperor, into Token, and suddenly your board is two Planewalkers and something that defends them. It's insane. This can win you the game on its own. And what more? We have uh, some card draw, a lot of sweepers. Yes, I'm playing double farewell, which of course I got punished for, as always. Uh, I usually splitting uh, Devastating Master, but I think that it is actually a mistake in deck building for this deck. We have eight plane walkers with possibility of 12 plane walkers. We don't want to get rid of plane walkers. And the fact that we can decide whether it's artifact, creature, enchantments it makes a difference you will see it in the video if you uh, ultimate time you you definitely don't want to kill this artifact and with farewell you can choose not to you can go out creatures enchantments and you probably wipe enemy board while leaving your most important card in the board as well so that's a power play that completely changes how the game plays and devastating master is inferior in this deck i generally wouldn't play it unless you are completely forced, but to be honest, it's basically anti-synergy with your deck. And Farewell is just playing better card choice uh, as, you know, deck building goes. This is correct decision. Whether it hurts you or not is a another matter. On the bright side, double Fightful Absence, three Detours, and some Syncopates and Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce is amazing against Planewalkers because they usually cost three mana and more, usually four or five. It means that usually enemy does not have this extra two mana, and you very often counter Lolf with this. Uh, it is painful. Our opponent will feel the pain today. And this is definitely something that is better in this deck than in the other decks that run for well because you can simply counter the plane walkers that you fear. Just leave this one blue mana every single turn if you think they play Lorf or like Sorin or something like this. Deck is really mind blowing. I really enjoyed it. It's it's so cool. Play it before it rotates. I didn't check it, but I'm sure something will rotate. Maybe. Portable hole. Okay, maybe most of oh okay. Doom scars. Yeah. That's 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 a thing. I guess we just play the populate them. But uh, with that being said, definitely try the deck. It's really good. In Mythic we won all the games and we made Boros cry. What you want more from the control deck? It's basically full package and it's still fun and you get to play with Tamio, which is amazing plane walker, one of the best ones in my opinion. Pure win. Enjoy the deck, enjoy the games, and oh, and right, don't forget to subscribe. Honestly, if you have this five seconds to say thank you to the channel, 
this is your way to do it. It really helps. It's the biggest contribution you can make to the, to the channel growth. And deep thank you for anyone who did it. Thank you, really. Uh, let's go into the video. Enjoy. I think it will be a blast. Okay, we are going first. Uh, a lot of ramp, not much value and nothing to ramp into. We have a lot of good cards, so I will keep it. Like we, This definitely gives us a lot of time. And if we have time, we should draw like... We just need Tamiyo from the top or something. And man, like at this rate, I will start removing lands from the deck. Like, honestly. Okay. Um, it might be Cultivation, right? Oh, but honestly, it's it's hard choice because we have basically no value to ramp into. So I'm not sure how good it is even. Mm, Faithful Absence is a bit more mana efficient for this turn. We cannot cast March without exile. Okay, okay. Respect is given back to the deck. I I I accept. This was actually the draw we needed. Uh, it would be better to have a turn before because then we could prepare. But it's okay. Like, I I, I allowed this draw. <laughs> it was uh, sloth approved. Okay, and now we go for Tamiya. This is why this is in the deck. This is exactly the reason. Uh, let's go for green, shall we? And this is really good because such a high loyalty. Basically, we start with six. Uh, that's actually pretty insane. And we get rid of only creature in the board. I, I fear fateful, fateful absence or like something like this. Okay, that's definitely a contender. Let's see which creature, like he needs to diversify, which is pretty good for us. Uh, I, I cry on the inside, I couldn't cast Syncopate. And let's play like this. We have March. Okay, so I think this is better, right? We tap this, yeah, we tap this one. We exile this one and this one cannot attack. So if he puts counter here, they don't matter. If he puts it here, they don't matter. And he needs more creatures in the board to make it matter. Okay, I'm proud of this play. I'm a happy control player that destroyed someone's fun. Oh my god, I didn't make the stop. I hate this mechanic. Mel Wizards, Aspiran, the most dominating card in the format. Please make the trigger automatic. It's actually game defining. Uh, good part is that he targeted with both counters, the card that we wanted to remove anyway. Uh, let's see the attacks. Let's pretend that he has options. Oh boy, I hope he doesn't remove Tamiyo. This is a big turn. Uh, Tamiyo will ultimate if he doesn't do anything. And that's a really big thing. Lolf. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Someone just got wrecked. I will just in case make two mana in case I'm blind person. Oh, it, it had to hurt. Oh my god, in endless detour. It's even better. We have to. We have to. It's way too bad. Too, too good. It's just pure fun. Oh yeah. Can you feel the power of free drawing cards every single turn? Because I definitely do. Now we need to protect this little piece of uh, technic uh, technology. Oh, technology. Uh, so it will be a bit rough. I'm taking the damage. I don't care. Oh, he already prepares for specialists to be dead. You'll have to see it. Enjoy your four damage, my friend. I don't care. You need to do something about the notebook and we both know it. Player with a name. I guess we could take Tamiyo back. Huh. Honestly, not the worst play, but that's not the play. It's not the play. We have better ways to do things. Oh, uh, have you ever seen Farewell for 4? Yeah, uh, it's just the new version. It's after rotation version. Really, true story. <laughs> oh, yes, drawing lands. That's what Sloth loves. Uh, we have enough of both of this mana, so we don't really care. Farewell. I don't want to cast it into open mana. I actually don't. And we have enough time. Like, as long as we keep drawing with the notebook, we are fine. It's completely fine. 
and at some point when he will try to flip the board and like I'm taking this four damage like a boss, I don't care. Rafin. Rafin is an issue. A small issue. Okay, you don't need the trigger with Rafin, but I will still do it. Hmm. Do I so I need to pay three. I will have only two mana. If he has something for the notebook, what they have, uh, vanishing verse won't work. They they might have void rent, which is uncounterable, but endless detour doesn't counter. I think they would play it already if they had it. I will risk it. Like this word is extremely painful. What, what, what happened? Why? Oh my god, it's cheaper! I'm such a bad player. Yeah, I forgot this discounts also March and all the stuff. So we don't we don't care. Everything as intended. No mistakes were made. No random wins will occur. And then you can see that he basically gave up on his plan because he realized that our plan is better. We de decided that we don't care about this damage because it's just for a turn. So we can endure it for a long time. And he decided, you know what, you are right. <laughs> and with Tamiya Notebook, uh, the writing is on the wall. Like, it will happen whether he likes it or not. I think we block with the token now. We have enough mana that we just need to start the game. He needs to devote more creatures on the board. And at some point, like the counter goes here because he knows he needs to do, to do something right now. This has no trample, bro. No trample, no pressure. Easy. Enjoy your zero damage. Like every single turn we are getting ahead. The longer we start, the better for us. We just need to protect this. And as you can see, answers will keep coming. Oh boy, that's so good. We could take six damage or seven, but it's probably too greedy. Uh, we definitely don't cast anything right now. Uh, two mana emperor sounds pretty good to me. Completely balanced and very good. Uh, this one is pretty sucky though. That's not the card we want to see. Especially this gives haste, basically, right? So we get rid of this one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I, I've got the plan. This is how we play it. We invest in tempo at the cost of two extra HP that we will lose. Because we will sweep the board. And the turn. Okay, draw. And now you won't have Emperor this turn. This is how we do it. Now our opponent will not have Emperor to play this turn. And if he wants to do something about it, it means he needs to tap out his mana for this turn. So it is definitely more painful. Smart counter, but pretty obvious, so not as much respect as usually. Sorry. And to be fair, to Token is good enough here. He cannot kill us anyway, and we Doomscar, right? So this is actually way better. I know minus two seems great, but if we are to sweep this board, what is the difference? This is basically the same effect. We just don't get two life, but we get two loyalty. Sure. Enjoy your thingy, bro. And of course we don't need to ramp. So Legion Enter will be a pain, but we have tools to keep up with this. Always start with the cards. Like, as long as we draw with this, oh my god, that's actually so good. Two mana, draw two cards. Seems pretty decent. And this is how we roll. And now, Emperor is too slow. It's too late, too slow, too little. Uh, he cannot keep up. I feel this is the first turn when we actually start to become an ahead. Uh, so he gets the Aspirant and does over again. We don't care, it's too slow. Like, it won't win the enemy uh, the game. We have already like two set of answers. If that's all he does, it's just nothing. Of course, he's waiting with the Emperor. However, we are going into end step, so he cannot play any main phase creatures. Actually, should have baited him. 
I should tap out, so I, I might take those two cards, who knows. Uh, we don't have double blue. Punished for bad choices, let's fix it. And I don't think our opponent can win, honestly. It's just way too much pressure. He has his Emperor, so he can give first strike to whatever he wants. Oh man, I forgot I have the broken card. Man, this completely obliterated. And we are actually playing Tamiya. For full mana, because why not? It's just 3 mana. We go for double forest, so we have more blue for memory. Man, we are completely dominating right now. And let's let's actually think about this play. Uh, okay, I thought about this play and I decided on the same thing. Man, like Tamiya shuts down special is so great because it's not a removal, so it doesn't activate the second card. If you want to see the extraction specialist hard counter, that's what it is, Tamiya, the perfect answer. All right, so we can keep attacking, right? Uh, we have 41 life to go through, so that's quite a lot. <laughs> and yeah, he could make a, to a token with the Emperor, but it's not good enough. Do we care? Uh, I care a little bit, but not enough to counter it. Like, the real threat is the notebook. As long as he can't remove this, we will win this game. He cannot outvalue us in the longer game, and he's out of reach to kill us. Like, 2 damage a turn? Mm -mm, it won't do it. Man, the Planewalkers! Like, I'm not playing Devastating Master because I'm running Planewalkers myself, and of course I'm getting flooded with Planewalkers. Oh my god! Uh, do we get rid of this? It is annoying. Like, it is actually annoying, and the shield counter is also annoying. Yeah, I know, I know. I am recording video, so, you know, sometimes I will talk a, a little bit more, turns will be slower, hopefully, for the viewers' entertainment. Hopefully. Fingers crossed for it. Ah, uh, yeah, so we throw it under the bus, right? That's always the plan. Yeah, like, we don't care. As long as we keep drawing cards, we are just winning. So we just want to start the game as most as more as much as possible. Wow, that's a perfect draw. Thank you, deck. Thank you, deck. You are you are just perfect. Three lands from the top, definitely what you need when you're looking for some good answers. Ho yeah, uh, five lands from the top, definitely will also do it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we don't care about this one. Uh, oh my God, that's mistake. I misclicked. And my mouse was more sensitive than I anticipated. And Memory Delush is actually better draw. Yep. We could remove the board by why would we if enemy cannot pressure us? Now he will play the Elspeth. We will answer with good Memory Delush this time. Syncopate. Basically the only cards that aren't lands. Uh, how much we can make him pay? Oh, 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 with the notebook actually quite a lot. Uh, I think we care about Elspeth way more than we care about the Legion Angel. So let's make sure he cannot pay 4. And we just pay 3 for it because we are, you know, the boss. We could even remove the, the token. And I think if he pluses, that's what we do. And he didn't do anything. He didn't activate the Emperor. That's interesting. Uh, I... How many counters you have on the Ember? One. Actually, we'll remove it. It's not the most value play, but I think it pressures him enough. Especially that we can plus our Samurai, so our will be better and he needs to start throwing them in under the bus. Uh, second ultimate, probably not the best. Second Tamiyo and more... Man, we are just drawing duplicates and lands from the like seven draw steps. It's good we have Notebook, because we can whiff so much and still be ahead. Uh, we want to attack. If we attack, he throws it under the bus, right? If we give the first strike... Like, we need to sweep anyway. Okay, I've got the play. The play is like this. We give him easy trade, because we want loyalty abilities after and you will see, it will be powerful. Enjoy. 
Now this is farewell time. I'm sorry, we need to say farewell. Creatures. And that's basically it. See ya. Let's make sure we don't cross the artifacts. That would be extremely awkward. And as you can see, Tamio has ways to use the royalty. Oh boy, yeah. Yeah, get out of here, boy. We ended with drawing six lands and we still outvalued enemy completely. It was like in the value, it wasn't close. After the he couldn't respond to notebook, it's just pure domination. Okay, that's definitely a very rough start. We are on the play with basically only five and six drops. Uh, that's a mulligan. I don't want to play with this one. Uh, we will keep and we'll get rid of the Colossal Sky Turtle. And we are in the praying mode because we need to draw two lands. Uh, this is, I guess, okay. We definitely start with the Cascade, so we have two drop enabled. Like, with, with what he's having, this is definitely a big play and extremely important. Okay, first is done. We might need double. So we have a lot of white, right? Uh, <laughs> like we probably need double white. Okay, so th this is important. We need to make the correct decision. I think we will go with this one because we can substitute with blue. So this is the land. And I actually don't want him to untap. Like, they usually have protection spells and stuff like this. Let's just make sure that we keep the board clear. At least relatively. Uh, to be honest, troll is not the worst. Like, we have good tools against the troll. Oh man, that's actually so good. So we have Aether Ramp into Tamiyo or Faithful Absence into Emperor or Tamiyo. So our options look re really good right now. Okay, well, let's read the card. One mana, one one, count, enters with counter, whenever creature with a counter, target. Okay, create insect, put counter on it. Okay, cool. Uh, do we take the hit? Yeah. I'm greedy. Like, I'm one of those mages that just likes to take damage and get... Oh, yes, draw the card, please. That's so perfect. He basically did nothing this turn. You you just love to see it. I hate you. Please 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 stop. Oh boy. Is this something we need to remove? Hmm. Okay, okay, I've got the plan. I actually have the plan. Oh it's so oh it's all coming together. The play just showed itself. Yeah, I know it's nice. <laughs> Removing badass creatures is always super cool. We have double white, we don't need more for now, so let's go for blue. And this is Tamio. And I'm playing Phyrexia Mana because this mechanic was always balanced and never broke any card. So now we got rid of the troll and oh, oh boy, you have a problem. Uh, the only thing I really fear is this 4-4 Haster. Yes, it's not the case. Man, if we get to farewell, and we can, this is so amazingly huge. Uh, we go for this one. Yeah, this is the most power on the board and most annoying. Huh, careful cultivation. We need a creature for this one. We don't have permanence in the graveyard, so that's a bummer, maybe. This is... Uh, okay, so it will be 2-4. Okay, that's, I guess, decent. The counter. The counter goes here. Let's see how he uses a Sika Chariot. This, will, this is the big turn. We generally really want to hold Tamiya. Uh, even though I was super happy about drawing by him last turn, this turn is a bit worse. Okay, I really do like what's going on. We probably really want to drop farewell next turn right mascot exhibition good call good call he needs refill after we sweep very good decision making and we still need to take whatever happens let's see the attacks we could also make a small token okay so he he goes like this 
So we can save Tamio. We can actually save Tamio. And you know what? It seems like a good idea overall. We could even get rid of of this if we want to go minus two. Yeah, I don't mind. I actually like to go minus two. Uh, exiling troll is a bit better. We don't ramp. That's actually important. So we need one more turn for the shenanigans. But I think that's okay. Tamiya survives. We can tap something that we hate. We have addition. Oh man, it's so close. It's actually so close. So we make a blocker. We tap the most annoying creature, which is right now Gnard Professor. Because it's the most power and we don't care about the token because we want to really sweep next turn. And we go like this, right? Yeah, let's go green. Okay, scary thing is they play Blizzard Brawl because this is the snow version. It means that one of those cards might be Blizzard Brawl. And we cannot counter it because Spell Pierce is way too late. Uh, if we take the damage... Okay, let's see how he plays. I want to ramp and use Farewell and then with Tamiyo hopefully we can get it work. But it will be still hard. Amy has a lot of cards and we are super pressured. Like his draws are on point. Like he didn't whiff for a single turn this game so far. Exactly. But he tapped a bit too much mana. <laughs> That's not Blizzard, bro. You were greedy, my friend, and you got punished. Oh man, like when Spell Pierce work is just mwah, such a great feeling. Yes, play into the board. Play more creatures. Like uh, mascot exhibition is a big issue. That's the only part that we don't have solved yet. Let's see the attack. Of course, I could block with the token, but then we aren't guaranteed to play for well. Oh my god, he actually did the perfect attack for us. No, no, it has trample. I hate you. I hate you so much. Ah, so we just prevent the damage, right? That's the best we can do. It's unfortunate. It hurts. It pains me to lose Tamiyo. My favorite plane walker ever. And let's do the ramp thing. You know what it means. Oh, you know what it means. Creatures, enchantments, artifacts. Uh, graveyards? No. We use graveyard, he doesn't. And let's go again. I really hope he just whiffs on this land. Please, please, one time don't draw a land. Okay, he did not. Okay, we did. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Uh, let's see how it goes. We definitely need some good draws from the top. Yep. He's smart. He wants to force response first and we have enough life that we need to get this one removed. This means he plays the mascot exhibit. That's why it was so scary. Like that was a really good call by him. And that was pure skill. Oh boy, I'm so good at magic. <laughs> Pure mythic skill. I yeah, that that was nice. <laughs> yeah, that was the right quit moment. Oh boy, like we we got so lucky. That was the perfect answer to the situation. And pro oh my god, stop! You are also a monster. Uh, I would say nice, but I don't want it to sound mean. Let's give him the decision first. Uh, we will. Professor this one It's five mana, right? I think it is. I'm not counting uh, Okay, that's oh my god man. We are top decky like a Boros deck. I'm not gonna lie Those were the best to top decks of my deck <laughs> Oh my god, we are crushing. We are freaking crushing. You thought one plane walker is problem here take two of them and let's make Samurai. This was our top deck. Okay, I, I feel actually bad for our opponent. Like, he, he was ahead. And we just made such incredibly strong plays right now. Okay, okay. 
our opponent is definitely keeping up. <laughs> oh my god, I honestly feel bad. We are actually crashing with top decks. Like, those were exactly three perfect top decks from the top. The day has come when Slow just has no skill and just top decks like crazy. <laughs> We could get rid of this, but I would much rather start passing. And I think this was the tipping point. He he is out of the gas. We as well. But we need we had top decks where we needed them. Right now it's actually incredibly good for us. And we are ramping Tamiya every single turn. This troll is basically dead. And soon we will have enough loyalties to start getting back stuff. Uh, we should probably play land. We don't really have much ways to use it. I guess bluffing would... Maybe bluffing was, was a bit better. I don't think we can get any combination of stuff that punishes us for not playing this land. Like, if we draw second land, it didn't matter. And if we don't draw land, we can play the land, so it's always the same. Okay, our opponent definitely still fighting. But I don't think that will be enough. Another very solid top deck. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. However, Tamio. Tamio is making the difference. We can also get the cultivation if we want. But honestly, I like having high loyalty Tamio. She's so annoying. Like, she will always be uh, one creature removal by. Oh, I should have played. He will draw a card? No, he will make an insect. That was a misplay from my part. You know, as a top decking player I need to play a bit bad to balance it out. It was all intentional and I completely did not forget about this interaction. At least we have Samurai. Okay, those are actually super good draws. Uh, we will keep uh, grow, uh, Troll tapped. Like, I'm pretty sure we are winning this game, but definitely we'll we might still whiff. If we draw like four lands from the top, of course, uh, he will win. If we draw similarly, we should win. Oh my god, that's that's one of the best draws. Okay, the top deck war continues. Who will get the better top deck? So far it was us, and now enemy is closing in. Uh, my turn. He will crew, so we remove it later. We might get punished because we have only two mana left. Like, you know what? Okay, we might whiff. We might whiff. So we tap this one. We make double samurai, I think. Or just make a counter. Yeah, I, I, I won't play it. Yeah, I knew I will draw something like this. It's fine. It's fine. Can we get something cool? Not really. So the best way is to play like this. It means that he needs to use those two cats to crew the chariot and then we remove it and basically he's left with no power on the board. You have no power here. And I want more samurais because enemy is getting wider and we need to match it. Uh, let's play some land. Shall we? We have enough cards to bluff. We do not double... Uh, we don't attack because it trades horribly. The counter is definitely a small issue. Like, this will be a small problem in time, but not for like one more turn. Okay, that's a decent non-top deck. So he will just screw the chariot, right? Eh, gotcha! All planned, all perfect. No, chariot to broken, not allowed in this game. We only allow, allow balanced cards like Wandering Emperor that... Man, I actually think I saw that this is like $100 right now uh, in paper version. I'm not surprised, but it's insane. It's actually insane. Like, th this is played in every white deck basically, so I guess <laughs> I'm not surprised. And you know what? I think we can solve one of the problems. Uh, we got an, a new Tamiya, so let's get rid of the old one, you know? Oh my god, I suck at this game so much. I forgot it's a token that gets exiled. So we might uh, get Cultivate back if we want to pretend the mistake didn't happen. Or just keep 
keep tapping the, the, the troll, which probably is the better choice. Our opponent is unfortunately for him pretty forced to do the thing and now we can start being aggressive. Okay, not with this one. We can start being aggressive like this. He can pump the Shambler, but this still trades. Uh, Tutu is way too weak. So we will make a ultimate with Tamiyo. The hype, the ultimate hype. It means that he is forced to make this bad attack, which is super sweet for us. He also won't be able to kill Tamiyo anyway. So let's farm him. We are farming our opponent for value. And he only de dealt 5 by losing 3 creatures. This ultimate didn't trigger, but it forced 3 removal spells basically. Which is amazing because we are <laughs> drawing lands. And what more? We can start pressuring enemy quite heavily. That's a lot of damage in one turn. Uh, sure. Okay, so our luck in top decks completely faded right now. Okay, this is decent. It's not the best. It's definitely not the worst. It will be threatening. And we are definitely falling behind in the top decks department. We can swing once, but not more than, than this. I think that we need to tap the troll. I want this one, okay? This one is way more threatening than this one. This one is so nice. Look at this, this horrible face. It's just pure aggression. The hate, the troll. Uh, we will keep double blocking probably to trade fav favorably. Uh, and we can still protect Tamiyo enough that it's annoyance. Uh, this, is ta this needs tapping, right? Okay, and this grows, so it's pretty good target. Uh, huh, this ta if, if we do it like this, we lose Tamiyo. I kinda don't want to lose Tamiyo, to be honest. So my oh, but this gives him the troll, right? So it's not it's not a good value for us, really. I don't want to throw too much under the bus, so I think this is the play. It is unfortunate, but we have backup Tamiyo. I want to maximize the value so we can s slowly stabilize the board. Oh my god, this is the perfect topic. I, I demand farewell from the... Please, <laughs> I was so happy with my top decks. Why I'm drawing four land in a row? I, I actually need something that is not a land. Please, please deck. I deserve... I was a good person. Maybe someday, sometime ago. Uh, so how do we do this? No oh boy, we can cultivate this one. It will be three five, right? Three five is decent, but not great. We die very quickly. Like I think we have to do it. I hate it, but that's what we have to do. And I guess it's a waiting game for basically. And yeah, we 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 tap the chariot. It doesn't give him the attack stats, but it builds his board. Do we attack? No, we won't be able to kill him anyway. Oh boy, it's so hard. Like we, are, oh my god, we are losing in top deck wars again. Like okay. We got those three top decks, but the rest of the game definitely is our opponent drawing better. Oh boy, this this is super painful. That was a bit of over attack, I guess, but it won't matter. Okay, that was actually a good declaration, because we want to trade with the cat, probably. I guess that's the best we can do. Oh boy, that's so horrible. The best draw is farewell, hands down. So if we cannot protect, at least we try to save to life. If we don't draw a sweeper, we lose anyway. Wow. Deck definitely just show me who, who was the boy. Like, the deck gave me this moment of happiness, how it could be. And then it was just, haha, <laughs> now seven lands from the top, bro. <laughs> Okay, that was a really good game. That I really enjoyed this one.
and let's give him some emotes as a finisher. A really, really fun game. I'm a bit sad that we kept drawing lands in the end. I thought that every single turn we were really ahead and we just kept falling behind with every draw step because enemy draws something and we d draw nothing, basically. All right, so the hand. Uh, four lands, three non-lands, keep it. Enemy goes first because he's a cheater. So we accept playing against this horrible cheater that wants to start. Uh, it's not like we want to start as well and we are also a cheater. Right, Raccoon? Look how wholesome he is. Like, this is probably one of... Oh, so sweet. It's probably one of my favorites. That's actually a really good draw. Because this is one of the few ways uh, we don't waste mana this turn. It's actually perfect. And what more? We can conceal that we have double white, so they think they don't need to play around Doomscar. Oh my god, that, that draw was perfect. Now he has nothing that he wants to exile. I would probably go with either Faithful Absence or Memory Deluge. Uh, if he wants for the longer game, it's Memory Deluge, because he knows we need a sweeper. And Memory Deluge, after we kill the Talia, might be our way to get one. Unfortunately, now he knows we have Doomscar mana. Pretty sucks. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. So we might as well do it right now, right? Let's see how he plays. Uh, I guess we don't even need to kill Talia, right? Like, we can take the 5 damage and call it a day. Ah, now he know. Like, this is the turn. He needs to make some calls. To be honest, the smartest play would be to attack for 5, bait us into response. We wouldn't, so we are at 13. And he's just too greedy. Oh, maybe he doesn't have the Doomscar. Yes, bro, I have it. I do have it, indeed. He wasted card and two mana just for one extra damage. And he even put it on creature we want to remove anyway. Man, I'm so tempted to just take the three damage and just cast Memory Deluge. But we should not be greedy. I think he has follow-up like Raiju. And that's why he's so confident, because he knows about the sweeper. Oh my god, like, I'm so dumb. He actually saw it, right? <laughs> he saw my hand. So he is definitely prepared, but the mana is tapped, so let's see this Raiju. And let's start removing one for one. Yeah, play, play this freaking thing. Okay, that's definitely not a Raiju. Cavalier then. Yeah, of course. Mm, 100 mana efficiency, just in case. Just so you never whiff on this single play. Why would you ever whiff with a single mana? Uh, it is Detour. It is unfortunate, because he sees uh, that we have Faithful Absence, so he knows that it's not a great idea to replay Cavalier. I think I, I would draw it in his place, but I wouldn't play it. I would play one of the other two cards. He wants something for one mana. Okay, sure. We wait until the attack phase, of course, so he cannot play more. He also cannot draw. If that's, that was his only play, you know what? I'm kind of hopeful. We are definitely still in trouble, but we are definitely gaining some tempo at least. I wonder if they play Brutal Katars and we need to care about this Night Mode. Now he only knows about Memory Deluge and uh, Fateful Absence. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. I see. First, let him pay the mana, that's for sure. Whatever we do, we want him to pay the mana first. Hmm. <laughs> ah, the decisions were made and he wants the card. Honestly, I think this is smart call. I really want to play Memory Deluge. I, I think I will invest this to life. It might be my doom, but you know me, I like drawing cards more than anything. Did we get rewarded for it? I think we did. This is pretty good draw. Uh, yeah, 
Yes, 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 yes. I'm not sure if you heard, so yes. And now we tap. Oh my! Oh, it's so good, so freaking good. I feel that we are getting to I'm Happy Land, uh, where we basically draw what we need. I need to win this game. I need to smoke some Boros. This is the first rule of the Fight Club: smoke some Boros. And this is pretty good. Like, they cannot get it to 3 toughness, so it means that all of them trade with Samurai. Ah, do you want to pay? He knows how extremely important this mana is. If he pays the mana, we are super fine. Oh, yes. Do you want to attack, maybe? Ah, that would be so unfortunate. If something with 2 attack hit your creature. Enjoy your lifelink. I hope you enjoy having 24 life. Oh, oh, oh my god, we are just owning. I think this is the draw that closed the game. I am not sure if he can come back from this. I think that it will be such a problem. And he doesn't have a lot of mana, so Spellpier still can, can hit something. I'm not sure what the two cards are. I think he's holding something good in, in reserve. So I think the killing move is still here. Yeah, that's the killing move. That's what he wanted. Okay. Do you want to attack? Do you dare? He knows about Fateful Absence. Look, he left this two mana just to draw a card after we remove the stuff. Ah, it won't be so easy, my friend. You need to work for it. Work it. <laughs> do you want to draw for mana do nothing? I think he will bottom it. It's way too slow and he knows that we will have answers. Enjoy. And that's how you trade 2 for 1 with Boros. He wouldn't attack if he knew this is uh, the situation. And we actually don't care about uh, Wandering Emperor because we have more. Do I want to tap out? Yeah, I don't mind tapping out. Because we have spare peers and we also have March, so we are, are actually really safe. And oh boy, the Emperor Flood. <laughs> he is actually getting flooded by Emperors, and this is the one thing Boros hates. They just cannot stand seeing Emperor after Emperor, Emperor, Emperor after all. I cannot speak because I am so excited about this play. So excited. I feel that we are nearing the end point of this game. Our opponent, I feel the spirit has broken. He knows what's coming, he sees the writing, he cannot even attack with his last card. And that's what he, he needs to deal with it. Right now, this is the realization part. I'm not in this game anymore. Enjoy. So right now we are waiting for our opponent to realize that he's out of the game. And oh boy. He, he doesn't like <laughs> He might draw Raiju and still put a lot of counters, but it's not great. And you know what? I think this is even better. See this combo? Two Planewalkers and sacrificing one of them to kill a non-tapped creature. Amazing. Pure win. Just simply amazing. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Bah, do you risk we don't have emperors? Emperors for days, baby. <laughs> the evil laugh, the sloth preying on Boros, on Boros pain. I know you guys like it. We all been there. We want to inflict the pain on this deck. And believe me, we have done this job so well today. I want to have more life. Uh, he might draw the royal thing with kicker, so that's a lot of damage. I think it deals 5, so let's be sure that he cannot top deck 2 in the row. And that's all she wrote, basically. Now we are keeping the pump. Always go for blue for a lot of this. And let's make our samurais great again, because we know that the samurais don't have a great time in magic. Basically the lamest archetype for a long time. 
<laughs> okay, I'm sorry for all the samurai fans. I really like the archetype. It's just they don't get great mechanics. I didn't like this uh, attack alone thing. It's just a bit too not constructed, you know? Uh, definitely go for this and uh, I will take a random card because it's better than what we got offered. I'm a bit surprised that our opponent is still here. We pump one of the creatures so it can block very well. Uh, his Raiju that he will inevitably top deck at some point. A Ganjo, sure. Like if that's, that's his play we don't really care, it's not a big deal. And small combo, we can actually target our own Samurai and transfer one loyalty into another card. That's insane, the value through the roof. Alright, so that's it. I, I don't think uh, our opponent has any chance of winning this game. I think they are just prolonging the inevitable because they cannot deal. It might be the breaking point. I think when they saw this card, so what's what's on? Like we have five cards, two planewalkers, better board than them. They have nothing going on. And even we are on 10 HP. So I'm pretty sure Boros is just, you know, this weird salt mode when they are hating their life and not winning by playing his great cards and it's just oh I make you suffer. Little he knew, we are control mages, we enjoy the suffering while the enemy has one card, no options, no gas, no control over the game and just dying painful death in frustration and desperation. And this is exactly how it always looks like. When you see this timer, it means that the Boros player was broken. Not only the game was lost, his spirit suffered this game. And this is exactly why we play Control, to break those little Boros spirits after they play the highlighted cards. Honestly, our opponent had really good draw. Talia into Spellbinder, into Esparant, into Cavalier, and then the adversary was the weakest part, probably. So let's cut our Boros Salt. I still hope you enjoy it. I actually do. I th This roping makes me so happy. Nothing Boros does makes me so happy as seeing the spirits broken. So let's endure all the full three ropes. <laughs> all right. I, I honestly think never roping player gave me more joy than this Boros player because it's so painfully obvious that he's really unhappy about the game. But getting flooded with Tamiyo three emperors in a row basically and he's just out of options he's he's not happy with his life he's reconsidering why the hell i'm even playing this crappy deck and you know friend that's a legit question why <laughs> oh the joy of playing control decks and smirking the boros